these are real. Ready some feathers? Looks nice. Okay. That's enough, you two. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Well, this is where it happened. Not exactly where it happened, but pretty close to where it happened. Just hit 10,000 kilometers on the bike. Behind me is a nice little fruit stand. I've recently uh, started riding back into, um, I guess, agricultural land. So and there's more fruit and vegetable stands, more um, fresh honey, and local, local stuff. So it's nice to stop and pick some things up. The Germans are a day ahead of me right now. I took a day to head toward the coast and I'll uh, catch up with them maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I had a little tr trouble with the bike yesterday. It was um, making a bad noise. That sounded to me like a rod knocking. And um, so a guy I knew had him, his mechanic take a look at it and that guy was uh, not helpful. Um, not helpful in figuring out the noise. He said, oh, nothing wrong with your motor, but I, I know what I'm hearing. But he did find something else, and what he found was that my pinion gear, here, I'll show you. My pinion gear had uh, worn out. It became all wobbly. I shouldn't touch that right now. It's pretty warm. 
I replaced that and started lubing the oil, the chain with, with diesel fuel instead of chain lube, which cleans it. And if you supposedly, if you, um, if you do it every day, put diesel fuel on it every day, uh, it'll keep it lubricated because there's oil in the fuel. I've heard that from a couple different people, so I'm gonna give it a shot. So far, the bike is running much smoother this way. It's cleared out all the gunk that has built up from the from the heavy lubricant that I was using before and um, just kind of keeping an eye on it, keeping an eye on the motor. My cover no longer fits here. I think this this um, gear is, it is from a different model bike, but the, the previous model, which was a uh, Honda 250, this is a 300, but it fits, it just doesn't let the cover fit perfectly over it. So um, cover is not that important, but I'll probably work on it to get it just right. I love these Mercedes trucks that are about to pass. But, oh, there he goes. He's he's not he's not passing by. He's just turning. Old Mercedes trucks around here. I'm gonna do a video pretty soon on my packing, what I have, how I organize it, and everything for those of you that are into uh, traveling by motorcycle. After 10,000 kilometers, I think I've pretty much got it down the way I want it. Uh, this side is pretty much just fuel now. I've got six liters of gas in here. And I've got one liter of diesel fuel. And I've got clothes in this bag up to here. I've got tools up to here and some shoes and uh, other things up in here, electronics and all kinds of things. And when I buy groceries, they go right here. So, um, and this side is just some extra stuff, most of which I probably don't need. I think it's lunchtime, good time to stop. And that's about it. Just west of Bahia. Uh, I tried to walk out, but I didn't want to see how the water was sinking. Yeah, I guess there's only the water with a layer of salt on top of it. Just a follow up on the salt video, it's, uh, it's definitely salt. It tastes like salt. It's salt.